Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the Allegheny Northern and N-Scale. Today we're going to do a product review and this is the new Atlas. It's from the, their master line. It is the Trinity 31,000 gallon tank car and uh, their buffer car kit. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into this. I know this is a little bit different because typically when I've done a review, it's been of a locomotive functions and all that sort of stuff. But these cars are really nice. And I thought that it would be a good time to, to showcase these. Uh, I'm sure if you've been in end scale for any length of time, uh, you've got something in your fleet that is that is Atlas. Um, so they, first of all, let's talk about the packaging that they come in. Uh, they come in these nice, uh, fairly heavy boxes. Um, and so you get six cars per kit here and when you open these up which is a little easier with two hands than it is with one hand you got your three cases per side six total cars and then they've got like i said they got this nice little cover on them and then i got two kits so one is six tank cars and it tells you the the road numbers that they that they have included uh, and then if you get the uh, buffer car kit, which I kind of look at as like this is you know this is your starter pack, right? Because you got a buffer car on either side. Comes with two buffer cars and four tank cars, so uh, six in each set, um, and they're they're pretty heavy, but they're nicely packaged. So let's go into the cars themselves. Okay, first off, let's start with the buffer car, and I don't know that this is going to um, I don't know if this is going to want to focus on the lettering. Oh, there we go. So it is, you know, set up for buffer car service, which is pretty cool. And so what they do is they put an inert material uh, in the buffer car and that protects, this. that way you don't have your, your oil cars right next to your uh, crew filled locomotives. Um, so other than the, the lettering being uh, nice and crisp and you can, eh, you're probably not gonna see it with with this camera, um, but eh, you know, what? actually, there we go. Um, we can get a little bit closer. So nice, crisp details there. Um, metal wheel sets. Um, so for those of you who are into the uh, metal wheel sets, you do have metal wheel sets on here. One of the features that I like, um, you got body mount couplers. So um, you know that's not uh, that's not a typical detail. You can see that we've got see-through um, grading there, and we have cut lever details, which are nice. And that is on both sides, obviously. Still have molded on um, ladder rungs, but we do have some separately applied details here up above for the grabs. And so in general, um, you know, you got all your, your piping detail down below here, but really nice detailed car. Okay. Let's jump over, take a look at the tank cars. Okay. Two variations of the tank cars. Um, this one came with the buffer car set and you will notice that the, um, the trucks do not have the blue painted bearings. You'll see that here in just a second on the other one. Um, but here's a nice little detail. You got brake hoses hanging off down here on the on the end. Um, you have the uh, shield on the tank car here to uh, protect against accidental puncturing. Um, so that would be, you know, in a, in a derailment type situation where a coupler could, in theory, go through the car. And then, of course, you've got all of the car detail information uh, on the side of the car printed up above. That's for in case the car would roll over on its side so you can see what the car number is. And then you've got your crisp detailing uh, and lettering on the side of the car as well. One also uh, nice feature with these, you do have, once again, body-mounted uh, couplers and metal wheel sets. Taking a look at the underside of the car here, and I'm gonna pull back just a little bit so you can see the whole underside. You do have all of your piping detail 
very fine detail on the car and of course you've got the same fine detailing up above around the hatch for the railing safety railings but you've got all of your detail underneath and then that's showing you here this is the car that came in the um the set with all six tank cars it's a different uh different reporting marks on it so I'll just put those side by side so you can see and the car is set up a little bit differently you still have your uh, brake hose detail which which is awesome for uh, end scale it's something usually gets left off you still have your shield and your end rails um, and then of course you have all of your uh, braking detail underneath and then you've also got your blue painted bearings which seem to be uh, very common now on a lot of rolling stock and then you've got this uh, silver patch. I don't know if that's uh, anything special, if that's different than, um, or if that's just a, a calling mark for for this road. Um, but you've also got uh, the reflective stripes, and I didn't point those out, but they are also on the uh, buffer car here, so you can see that they've added those. So both of these uh, cars, sets, really nice details, um, and I'm really impressed because Atlas has always been uh, a staple for me. Uh, it's one of the, I always viewed it as a, a step above Bachman, uh, but now it looks to me like they are trying to compete um, with, uh, say, uh, scale trains, uh, adding some real fine details here uh, with the, with the, first, the body mount couplers, fantastic. Um, the metal wheel sets, I know that's a big thing for some of you folks, and, and for, so for those of you who, who care about that, that's going to be a selling point here. Um, but even the shield details, just all the fine details and lettering on these cars is really fantastic. Um, so Atlas did a real nice job on this set. Now, you will pay probably eh, about a buck and a half, buck sixty for each of these sets. So they are a little bit pricey, so you are paying for the detail. Uh, but you are getting six cars, and they have multiple variations. Plus, you can buy them single. You can buy both the uh, the buffer car single, and you can buy the tank car single. Um, so if this isn't at your favorite hobby shop, I'm assuming it will be soon. And, of course, it's always available by from somebody online. So let's take these over to the layout, and let's lash some power up to them, take them for a spin. <laughs> 